Hello everyone, welcome to this particular video. Uh, in this video series, we are going to start working on AZ400 and which certification is for the Azure DevOps uh, people. Okay, so uh, I'm going to give you the link to the Microsoft Learning AZ400 GitHub Labs. So we're going to start with the first lab. Uh, in this lab, really, uh, we're going to do agile planning and portfolio management with Azure boards. Okay, and this is the module one of this particular series of labs. So just like any other labs, you have a lab overview. In this lab, you're going to learn about the agile planning and portfolio management tools and processes provided by Azure boards and how they can help you quickly plan, manage, and track work across your entire team. You will explore the product backlog, sprint back backlog, and task boards, which can be used to track the flow of work during the course of an iteration. We will also take a look at how the tool have been enhanced in this release to scale for larger teams and organizations. Now, if you have any uh, experience with uh, agile development, maybe you have a software background, it will be very easy for you to follow. If you have never used this, like a sprints and never heard of agile, I would recommend that you do some Google search on that one and kind of understand uh, the agile methodology from a high level so it will be you know easier for you to follow and understand so there are few objectives in this lab uh, once we're done with the lab we'll be able to manage teams areas and iterations we'll manage work items manage sprints and capacity so this is very important the sprints typically they're two weeks and capacities if you have like two people and if you have uh, 40 hours available uh, for each person, so each person will have 80 hours capacity per sprint, right? Uh, then uh, the Kanban boards is something that you can configure, and uh, we'll talk more about the Kanban and what it is. And uh, we can define the dashboards and uh, then customize the team, uh, the team process. So this lab, we're estimating it will take about uh, an hour or so. So we're going to skip some of the steps. So in this lab, they're saying, hey, go and uh, log into your virtual machine. And then from that virtual machine, you go and open the Azure DevOps organization. Now I'm, now I'm just going to use my Mac M1 for this particular lab. And uh, here uh, they have a link, create an organization or project collection. So it says, uh, if you don't already have Azure DevOps organization, that you can use for the lab, create one. So now I already have one, so I'll just show you what it is uh, and how you get to that particular uh, Azure DevOps. So really the site, uh, the link that you need to go to would be uh, Azure, HTTPS, dev, azure.com. And once you go there, you log in. If you don't have any account, it's just going to ask you for create a new uh, DevOps, Azure DevOps. And uh, for the whole series of labs we're gonna do, you can just go with the uh, free version of it and you should be good. Uh, so, and you, you have this uh, uh, view available to you. Now here you see you have a, uh, one organization right now. Uh, once you get in, you have to, you probably have a default organization and then you have to create at least one project before you start working on it. So we'll go through all of that in this, uh, in this lab. So uh, let me just try to go to that link as well, see what it is. So here, uh, create an organization or project collection. So here uh, they have some more details on how you want to do that. As I said, if you already have, like I do, so I can cl click on the new organization. And uh, in the new organization, uh, it will just, just give us some more options and you have to name your organization and then uh, that's about it you will be able to do that so let's just go back to the lab okay this one i just have to click the back button mm -hmm. all right so configure the lab prerequisite let's just begin there and see what happens in this exercise you will set up the prerequisite for the lab which consists of pre-configured parts 
unlimited uh, configure parts unlimited team project based on an azure devops demo generator template now uh, this is also important so let's uh, before we do that maybe we just go here and just create a new organization okay and i'll just show you how to do that as well so this is just call it az400 and uh, you may think that central us maybe you'll be able to choose the east us but uh, it's not that so let me 400 exercise something like that maybe that's not taken so here you see that there are only few locations that are available where you can host your azure devops but uh, i'm just going to choose the central us so let's just do the validation vdnxt and i'm going to hit continue and uh, it should be creating uh, my devops organization for me it usually like takes less than a minute or so to to get this done so now you see that I, this is the organization i already have uh, this is the exercise file that i just created and as i said uh, once you create an organization you gotta have a project so let's call the project as well is the 400 github labs okay that's my project and i can keep it private or i can keep it even public but i'm just gonna keep it private for now and uh, let's see sometimes they'll give you the uh, your uh, detailed options i don't see it here so here i'm just gonna click on create project and there we go so you have uh, a, 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 a new project now az400 github labs okay so this is your organize organization az400 exercise under that you have this new project az400 github labs in this one you can now create boards repos pipelines test plans and artifacts okay and you can add members you can do a whole bunch of stuff uh, you can or should spend a little bit of time at the project setting as well so if we just click on that one if you want you're going to add uh, descriptions we we are going to use this space to complete github is a 400 labs okay now visibility we already made it private uh, project administrator you, if you want to add another administrator you can do it over here uh, and it here you can turn on the features uh, right now on my boards repos pipeline test plan artifacts everything is turned on for any reason if you want to delete the project you can come over here and delete it now teams we're going to talk more about it so this team uh, got created by default ac400 github labs team uh, permissions you don't need to worry about it for now uh, project configuration you can go and you can see that uh, it created one sprint uh, and you can click on that one and and if your sprint gonna start from someday you can configure it here i'm gonna wait uh, for this one for a little bit uh, you it it, it it most likely it usually creates a github project for us and here the team configuration so if you if you are working even saturday sunday you can turn those two days on so you can it can calculate the burn downs uh, and uh, if you're using epics and issues turn them on uh, so you can go through this and uh, do some more configuration in here okay so let's just come back to the lab so but but what what happens if you have this project now set up this project is pretty much empty there is nothing in there so what we can do microsoft uh, there is something called a demo project generator uh, what we are going to use to create a new project based on the parts unlimited template okay so let's just come over here so i'm just going to click this one and uh, i want to actually create it to open it in another another window another tab okay so let's just open it here so uh, this utility site will automate the process of creating a new azure devops project within your account this is a uh, pre-populated with content so it will already have your trim work your repos and everything 
required for the lab okay so first thing we will do we're going to sign in using the microsoft account associated with my devops subscription so over here i'm going to click on sign in and this is the account that i have associated with my devops uh, platform so what we'll do i'm just going to accept and here i can configure my project that is going to be generated based on a particular uh, particular template okay so let's come back over here so we have done this step if required on the azure devops demo generator page click accept so we have done that as well so in the fourth step create new project in the new project name toolbox type agile planning and portfolio management with azure board so let's just copy that one and just be as consistent as possible with this so let's put this agile planning and portfolio management and the next thing in the list of templates locate the parts unlimited template and click select template so here choose template uh, parts unlimited so you see they have uh, you can use a uh, my health clinic smart hotel 360 uh, Taiwan traders parts unlimited parts unlimited YML even if you go and if you have maybe a cloud or adopt adoption framework that you're working on and you want a blank template you can choose any of them SQL migration Windows virtual setup so they will have uh, sprints and some some ready ready made task uh, backlogs everything created for you now for us uh, we are going to use the parts unlimited to to uh, meet the lab requirement so in this one again make sure uh, you use uh, click on choose template and use parts unlimited template so let's just do that so this is the one that we're going to choose and click on select template so now it's saying that we have chosen the parts unlimited okay so once that's done on the create new project uh, click navigate to project so we're almost done uh, then create project i think we gotta click on the create project first and uh, create project and then navigate to project okay so hit create project okay, select an organization so i'm going to put it under the 400 exercise okay and then uh, i'm just going to create the project so see that the project creation is going on and you can see this bar and the project agile planning and portfolio management with azure boards created it's uh, so it's just giving you what's going on with this one and you can read a little bit more about this uh, particular template that we have chosen use this lab to provision a scrum based team project so that is important the scrum scrum has a lot of concepts about uh, software development uh, what went well like sprint retrospective two week sprint bugs issues and all that kind of stuff uh, complete source code and pipeline definitions to deploy parts unlimited a sample e-commerce website based on the phonics project book by gene kim so you can uh, look at more of the project in uh, from the git for github okay so the, while that's going on let's just read a little bit more about this particular lab so once this is done uh, we'll just go and navigate to the project so once that's done then we'll start the exercise one uh, which would be manage the agile project so let's just come over here and uh, let's get this one done what we'll do uh, once this is done uh, we'll end the video and we'll try to keep the video short and let's see the exercise one looks uh, uh, maybe we'll just do the exercise one in the next video I'm still trying to think yeah seems like these are pretty pretty long task so we'll try to try to keep this video's lens pretty pretty manageable so once this is done we'll end and we'll start the next video uh, as soon as uh, this deployment is complete okay so this is all done so now we can navigate to the project okay so once you navigate to the project so now you see that you have a lot of items that are already there right your project parts uh, 158 work items created 24 work items got completed you have two repos uh, 116 comments and uh, you can really look at the dashboard so you have s such a nice dashboard you have a one critical bug uh, work in progress for unfinished work item 
Uh, you have uh, 18 user stories, uh, manage work, collaborate bullet on code, continuously integrate, visualize, progress. So you have uh, nice dashboards. So you can go to the go to this board and uh, just just uh, kind of look around what you have. So this is your board work items. Uh, we looked at this. Oh no, we didn't look at. So here you can create new work items. You can uh, look at what is going on. You can assign to other people if you want to. Uh, boards, uh, board this it doesn't have a lot of items just yet. Uh, backlog, uh, backlog. I, there are not two. Yeah, there's few things in the in our in our backlog. Uh, the sprints. Uh, there is only one sprint. The sprint two looks like it's already enabled. Uh, the sp uh, sprint two May 19 to June 9. Queries, uh, it looks like we don't have any defined queries. I'm sure we're gonna work on it. Uh, plans, then reports, you can go. Uh, here is the report that we have. Uh, you can look at pipeline. Uh, there's the pipeline, there's no run yet. Uh, test plan, uh, I don't think there's anything in there yet. Uh, an artifact. So uh, what we have uh, created in this uh, video today is create our organization uh, you know where to go to get to azure devops how to create an organization how to create a create a blank project and also you have learned how to create uh, a demo generator uh, to create a project for you so that you can do uh, your own own uh, you know uh, tests and and work and you don't have to like create stories and, and populate all of your sprint uh, so you have something to work with so uh, that's about it for this video let's meet in the next video and we're going to continue uh, our exercise one which will be on manage agile project so see you in a in a little bit thank you for watching the video subscribe please and give me a thumbs up thank you